Hey guys, I think I figured out how to use my microphone and not have it echo. Uh, so today we're going to do some MuseScore tutorials. So we're going to open MuseScore 3. And we're going to... I'm going to show you how to start a new score and how to edit the instruments and things like that. Let's make it full screen. Uh, when you start up MuseScore, you'll see the start center. It has the scores you've previously been working on. Uh, you can exit out of that. Uh, it starts you off with this uh, generic one. I always get rid of that because I like to make my scores have specific instruments. So you're going to come over here to this little button right here that says create new score. And it's going to bring up a window that says uh, something like this. So it has title, subtitle, composer, lyrics, is copyright. So in the title I'm just going to put testing because I'm just showing you how to run this click next and then you're going to come here to choose instruments um, for example if I want to do a piano um, violin duet I'll add I'll just double click on those and add those to this little menu over here I can move them around by clicking on the instrument moving that up or down if I want to get rid of it I click remove and I can add anything else back into it. So if I didn't want a violin, it said I wanted a singer, I add voice in, and I can move that up or down. So when you're done with the looking at the instruments, you can click next and you can choose the key. If you don't want if you don't know which key uh, signature you want yet, you can just uh, leave it on this and change it later. Uh, if you know how fast you want it to go, for example, 157 beats per minute. I don't know. Just just pick one. The default is 120 beats per minute. Here's the time signature. So you could do 44. You can do any one of these. 464 if you really wanted to. I don't know how you're going to write that. But we're going to go with 44. You can also do common time, cut time. You can put in a pickup measure. I personally like this. And if you don't end up putting a, in a pickup measure at the beginning, you can always do it later, so I'll show you how to do that in a different video, perhaps. Uh, you can also always add extra measures later on. So the 32 is just the just the starting amount, which is honestly pretty good. It gives you room to work, it room to copy and paste, and things like that. So we're gonna go ahead and finish. All right. So now our paper looks like this, with the title here at the top and the voice of the piano, and our little pickup measure. And so what I'm going to do, I come up here to page view, continuous view, and control scroll to make it bigger, and shift scroll to go side to side. So control scroll to make it zoom in and out, and shift scroll to make it go side to side. Up and down is just regular scroll. Okay, so now we're here at this part. Uh, now we have 32 blank measures and no, no notes to put in. So, there's two ways you could put notes in, or you, at least you could start putting notes in. Press the letter N, and it puts you into notation mode, which is the same as pushing this button right here. The note input. See how the hotkey says N? Um, you could just do note input right there. Um, once you have that, you can select which kind of note you want to put in. Uh, quarter note, half note, whole note, eighth note, sixteenth, all the way down to 128th note. And all the way up to the double whole note and the longa. I'm not sure what the longa is, <laughs> but there's a double whole note, whole note. So you can just put notes in with your mouse. Or you can put your notes in with the keyboard. And you just go along like that. Um, it won't change automatically into the lower key. If you want to put notes in the lower key, you can't use the keyboard at first. Just click down here in the, in the bottom and then you can add notes as, as you please. A, D, C, B, E, 
G. You know, just those are just notes I put in with the keyboard. Um, if you want to get rid of uh, the notes in a measure, so click the N again and then select the measure like that. Just in a little bit of the empty space. Press delete. It'll get rid of everything inside the measure and leave the rests. Uh, if you want to delete everything in uh, like a whole line, select a whole line like that and press delete. It'll delete everything and leave the rests for you to work with. Um, if you want to delete more than one line of up and down, like on the staff, select one, the measure on the very bottom and a measure on the very top where you want and press delete and it will delete them all and leave the rest. If you want to listen to the notes that you put in, for example, let's just put a bunch of notes in. Just clicking on random spots here. What you're going to do is going to press N again to get out of note input mode. Come up here to the little play buttons. This button sets you all the way back to the beginning and this button plays through the whole piece. So we're going to press here and listen to what we have. So as you can probably hear, that sounds awful, because this is not actually a song that I'm writing. I'm just showing you how to do this. So now that we have all of this and we don't want it anymore, what we can do is simply highlight the whole thing, press delete, and we're just gone. Now when you press play, you won't hear a single thing. It's just silence because notes aren't there. There's just rests, and those are just silent. So there you go. There's the there's how you play back the piece that you are currently working on. I brought out a piece in my archives called Retrospect. It's a it's an older one that I was working on. Let's see, and I wanted to show you what it will sound like eventually if you if you keep working at it, put more notes in, and make the timing just right. So let's listen to this for a little bit. And so these instruments have their specific uh, sound to each of them, and each note is different lengths making the rhythm and so that's how this piece goes um and that's how you play back pieces so yeah so that's basic muse score function uh no input uh creating a new score so yeah that's all sh I'll, that's all i'll show you today and we can do other muse score uh, tutorials later on so what i'm gonna do is save this in my scores for later use and we're going to come back to this exact score and I'm going to mess around with it and show you what you can do with this score. Uh, thanks for watching guys, have a great day and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, don't forget to look out for new videos and I'll see you next time.